we are having a session on MSME development, business development service providers. They will be covered under this session. Uh, this session has been divided into two parts. We are starting with part one, where we have the learning objectives as uh, we, we would like to understand the rational rationale for business development service providers then their roles functions and responsibilities and uh, costs and benefits for the enterprises that's the area which should be covered in this lesson and uh, uh, in case we are not in a position to uh, finish this lesson in 30 minutes we'll divide it in two parts so we start with the first slide we would discuss about the benefits and limitations of msmes msmes as you understand is micro small and medium enterprises so these enterprises are benefiting the nation by creating wealth because you have a lot of people lot of entrepreneurs involved here you are creating employment you're also innovating because there would be a tendency to in innovate you would like to bring in a new type of product in response to the economic technological and social changes like for instance everybody wants to have a mobile so obviously if a firm starts to uh, starts a business starts a manufacturing enterprise which uh, uh, manufactures low cost mobiles it can be quite popular then you are contributing to the infrastructure which supports large industries like for example maruti they don't manufacture all the parts themselves there are lots of ancillary industries which are helping them and then the benefit of a regional economic balance is also there regions are developed because you spread all over india they also generate increased competition you get more choice of products diverse products are available your sectors are regionalized they are present in all the geographical regions political stability would be there because people will get employment they'll be benefited economically and social cohesion would be there social development will also take place so all these are benefits of msmes the limitations you don't have symmetric information uniformity of information is not there because people may not be sharing they may not be transparent your capacities are not adequate you're not operating at such a level that if some changes take place you respond to them immediately it takes time then people are normally not willing to share they're not willing to cooperate in the markets because they feel that it is their proprietorship. They are the owners. Maybe there'll be a leakage of their secret information. Things like that. So these are the limitations of MSMEs. Now we talk about some discriminatory barriers, which are also known as market failures. Now, when there are certain discriminations, some market failures are there. So you don't get a level playing field. For example, if you cannot start an industry without obtaining a license at a heavy cost, you will be having some limitation. You won't be able to enter that field. So level field playing field may not be available you may give a license to ambani easily but you may not give it to a smaller firm 
then these discriminatory barriers when we talk about them we are talking about perfect markets in the context of perfect markets we are talking about market failures now in such cases what happens is you would like to intervene in the markets government likes to help it intervenes and that intervention can benefit one area but the point is if you help a particular area if you intervene in a particular area it's possible that you displace some other area that is a possibility and then when mar market disruptions are there then there would be a delay in returning returning to the normal position normal perfection so it takes time so normally because of information asymmetry information is not uniformly available economies of scale if you are operating at a smaller scale obviously you cannot compete with a large scale industry then your returns your profits you may not appropriate them perfectly for development of business so all these result in different problems and when we intervene externally government intervenes to address these factors these could produce benefits and would be addressed by a service provider so service providers help in external interventions they help in providing you training providing you information and whatever requirements you have got so these temporary factors when we are talking about market disruptions which are there for temporarily they can be treated with the help of external in interventions which can be provided by a service provider now systemic failures we are talking about failures in the system msmes when you talk about msmes in the broader economic context they are don't get sufficient attention and this is reflected by an outdated perception an obsolete perception that these enterprises are not of great importance we need big industries we don't require small industries they don't help technology development they don't help growth and although these enterprises can generate huge employment they don't help in growth this was an outdated perception so people continue to cling to this type of bias then systemic failures they also exist on a global scale as national policies regarding msmes sometimes contradict and cancel each other there could be various regulations so one regulation is helping you another regulation comes and puts a spoke in your wheel you get issues they create hurdles so national policy measures they may lead to unintended impacts on smaller firms in other countries in particular smaller countries so if you have got some policies they may not be helpful to smaller countries or smaller industries so there are factors which cause discrimination you have got registration procedures you have got norms and standards you have got labor and mar product market regulations so all these factors may be discriminatory and when you have got msmes which are operating in more than one country which are cross border msmes interstate coordination coordination between two countries that also becomes an issue now when we talk about market imperfections their causes and remedies uh, we first of all talk about the supply gap shortage of entrepreneurs and this happens because you have got a social and economic bias in favor of employment people don't want to start their own business they want to go in for service and this can be remedied with the help of a proper social security system proper education and a good 
fiscal system which rewards entrepreneurs then we talk about innovations and lack of capital you don't have innovative research and development financial inclusion is there distortions in capital markets happen people some people are having a lot of money others don't have then these can be remedied with the help of a good research policy adequate r and d research and development expenditure if you uh, improve the collaboration and coordination between msmes and research and development institutions you provide them with fiscal incentives competition policy is taken care of it uh, it is uniform for all types of uh, it helps msmes then you have got supportive lending uh, policies you give uh, priority to msmes when you are giving uh, loans you provide them with credit guarantees you monitor their targets carefully so all these things can help innovations and they can also address the lack of capital issue then we come to labor our labor markets are not perfect you don't get skilled manpower all over india in all the states uniformly so that can be addressed with the help of a good social security system improvement in social environment a good housing policy providing people with training and education labor relations policies improvement in labor policies and minimum wages policy can be implemented throughout india to address that issue then lack of inadequate premises is also an issue and this is because of imperfections in property markets i'm sorry uh, in one uh, city property is cheap in another city it is very costly rents are higher rents are low so that just obstructs the development of msmes so these can be addressed with the help of metro or urban developments you can have planning regulations which talk about zoning creating zones which uh, provide you with environment protection which invests in infrastructure so all these will help development of msmes then we talk about regulatory compliances in india normally you have a bureaucratic setup people think about issues in a bureaucratic manner growth there is no accountability as such in so many areas so governments if they are they are not don't change they behave like governments they don't behave like supporting you in so many cases you have got a federal sort of setup so if you simplify your laws you have got separate laws with the transparency is there transparent rules are there you provide exemptions wherever required you have uh, simplified the local taxation laws state and central government setup is reorganized you have got single uh, clear, uh, window clearances with set time frames so all these issues regulatory compliance issues can be addressed and when we talk about markets there could be a suppliers market but the supplier markets and seller markets are imperfect they are not perfect so here you can address with the help of a proper competition policy government crowding out government should not basically government is also uh, there in business so market promotion and development can help so all these things can help your market development now when we talk about the owners who are reluctant to develop why they don't want to grow you have got a good business everything is taken care of but you don't want to develop because you are afraid that whatever ideas i am having they might be stolen by somebody then you are not 
interested in approaching experts to resolve the issues, are reluctant, then you may not be having information about such services. That's also possible. And you feel, you have a feeling that whatever support is available, that is not appropriate. Then you may be feeling that uh, cost of advice is very high. And the content of support, the support which is available, you might get the feeling that it is a top down approach. Give it or take it. They won't help you. They won't customize. That sort of feeling comes. So owners are not hesitant. They are hesitant to develop further because of these issues. Now, in all these cases for development of SMEs, the education system has got a crucial role to play. You can create awareness about the role of entrepreneurs in the economy. You can encourage commercial awareness. Then you can raise the social standing of the entrepreneur. You can create an awareness that entrepreneurship is a plausible career option. It's something which can be done. Then at the same time, you have to develop entrepreneurial skills also and stimulate the application of entrepreneurial knowledge and qualities. That is the role which educational system can play in development of MSMEs. Now, role of business development service providers. For startups, they can facilitate handholding support. They can provide you with handholding support. Then they can give you advice during uh, your growth process. They can help you in coping strategies in competitive environment. Like you want a franchise, you want to take a franchisee uh, of a particular uh, franchiseship of a particular company. You want to acquire some business. You want to enter into a joint venture. You want to merge within India or outside India. So they can help you. They can guide the entrepreneurs in getting proper legal advice at the right time. They can help you with preparation of business plans and periodically reviewing them to achieve your business targets. Now we have got various organizations which help for this development. We have got MSME development organization, which is the government body basically. So MSME Chamber of India is there and several other semi-government and private sector organizations. They are helping. They are providing you with consultation. They are helping you in arranging finance. They are training your existing and proposed enterprises. They, they are training the existing and proposed and new enterprises with to develop their skills, to develop their technology. And state governments they have been establishing industrial estates to provide you infrastructural facilities and other industry specific requirements. When we talk about private sector business development service providers, they help MSMEs to access better technology, finance and infrastructure and managing the business more efficiently, more successfully. They can provide you with consultancy advice. Now, the different types of business development services which we are having are operational and strategic. So operational services, they are providing services which are mainly for setting up a unit. And strategic services, they relate to a variety of services which are required for Pro, uh, solving problems which you are facing on a day to day basis. Now we talk about the Institute of Small Enterprises and Development. This institute has got an international network. 
it generalizes world class business development services and provides these services to msmes which are operating globally which are operating in india as well as abroad and which cannot afford such services at market rates through its special window this uh, iscd has got a special window for non commercial business development services so they help you get services at a reasonable rate at the same time the quality of services is at par with global standards now we talk about the business development service market support structure so when we talk about the support which we require we are talking about legal and regulatory framework access to infrastructure services access to financial services access to non financial business services and interform links and cooperation so in all these areas you require market support and these supports can come to you in the form of market research product development advice business planning accounting and cost calculation access to finance government subsidies and procedures to assess them access them support for your administrative problems helping resolve your tax issues providing you with premises arranging uh, participation in trade fairs helping in export import procedure uh, your linkage to technology promotion and development developing your organization and linkage to industry associations or chambers so this all these areas are part of the framework of support available to msmes the task of bds facilitator he is the link he is the link to competent professional bds providers you have got training establishments you have got marketing specialists you have got chartered accountants you have got cost accountants legal experts trade fair organizers industry and trade chambers so business development service is used in industrial cluster development in sector specific and gender specific interventions and as follow up system for startups after initial entrepreneurial entrepreneurial uh, training so networking is their key function so they are providing you with a network you are getting uh, linked Con you get contacted you contact the right person they provide you contacts with the right person at the right price and the right type of advice for the right type of advice so that is the type of facility they provide you now we talk about sectoral developments we have got new type of services and technologies there have been every day you get a new type of technology a new type of services started in the field of telecommunications there has been explosive growth there was a time when in india for getting a telephone you had to wait for years and now you just go fill up a form and you will immediately get a phone connection then your technologies for audio video they have also converged you've got audio conferencing you have got video conferencing so all these things help you scope for massive generation of employment data input services you've got different types of data input services you've got desktops publishing for example business of bibliographic data then you are setting up vset networks which are linked with computers so you are providing this type of services now we talk about growth opportunities in msme service sector you've got lot of opportunities in computer software skills for handling computers as also for writing software then your telecommunication telecommunications you can install small exchanges provide that sort of facilities 
broadcasting cable tv services fm radio tv channel reporters anchors all these are growth opportunities available to you you can also provide internet services employment opportunities and basic needs because of fast changing food habits you must have noticed a lot of zomato and uh, other apps have come up home delivery has started your food habits are changing you swiggy for example so need for instant availability you want things to be made available to you immediately so online you order and immediately somebody would come and deliver housing and rental this is also there you are providing uh, for fully furnished houses for rent custom made clothing for example there are a lot of companies lot of people tailors who will provide you with this facility now in india we've got uh, different types of service providers uh, let us take a small break we'll uh, carry on with this portion in the second uh, part second part of part 1 i mean have a nice day please